What is up everybody, hey and Day, welcome back to Thunder Call of the Wild, and today I just wanted to take a little bit of time to go over some more stuff that we learned from the most recent EW livestream, and yes, I know, I'm sorry that this video is going to be a little bit behind everyone else announcing this stuff, but Thursday's the first day I can get the video out to talk about it with you. So, let's go on ahead and dive right into this massive update that's coming and bringing so much new stuff to the game. So first things first, and I think the star of the show, this entire update that we're seeing now is going to be the new Trophy Lodge, okay, that is free for all players. That's the cool thing, okay? This new Trophy Lodge, anyone can use it, and only the base game animals can be placed in it. That is one of the things that I have heard a lot of people kind of not be too happy about is the fact that certain mounts can only have um, an, one particular species on it and I can't see yeah, that's you know a bit of an issue but because it is free they are limiting us slightly in what we can do it's not going to be a fully custom customizable lodge like the uh, Sasika Safari or Spring Creek Manor that we are currently in however these were paid for Whereas this other one is free. I think we should just be happy that, you know, we're getting another trophy lodge. We've been asking for one for quite some time. And it's been a long time since the last trophy lodge that we got. However, it does still look really, really nice. I like having kind of a North America lodge. I think that's going to be really cool. And honestly, I want to use it as a challenge, maybe. Because since I've gotten almost every diamond in the game now... We could use it as sort of an opportunity to try and get animals um, to fill those certain spots. We'll have the lodge. I want to fill it with all new stuff. We'll have to try and get our best diamonds or rares of those species to put in there. And I think it could be really, really awesome. And, you know, just a great challenge to bring back into the game for players who have accomplished what they want to or have just gotten everything that they feel they need so i think it's going to be a really really awesome addition to the game all right and the second big thing that is going to be coming to the game is going to be the custom loadouts all right this is something that has been asked for by the community for quite some time now to be able to customize the loadouts that you have in the game instead of having to go in and individually select each weapon that you want every single time or your you know your duck setup and everything you have all your decoys if you want to go multiplayer it can become a hassle to get your tripod or your duck blind or whatever and just get all that stuff back in your inventory and then switch the next time you want to do something else however the loadouts which can be completely customized uh renamed all that good stuff they will be the easiest way to just quickly flip between the weapons that you want to carry, but whether you're switching maps or just going after different species. It's going to be a really, really cool addition. I can't wait to see how exactly it works, get to use it myself a little bit. And yeah, it's going to be very, very awesome. I cannot wait for it. And last but not least, one of the other things that I have heard about is that the spook radius is going to be dropped back down from what it is currently. Uh, with the last update, the spook radius was increased by quite a good bit. Uh, however, it has been said it's not going to be, you know, decreased as much to like its original level, but it is still going to be knocked back a little bit because there were a lot of people who were very unhappy with that. And I can understand why when I've been hunting in real life, I've shot at deer and the deer on one half of the field ran away and that was where I shot. And then the deer on the other side of the field, 150 yards away, looked at me and then just started eating again. So, you know, I can see kind of where people are coming from on that. So that's kind of that. There is also going to be, I think I've already gone over this before, but there's going to be like a new perk added. Um for the like range estimates you'll be able to see it up in the top corner when you're spotting the animals also just you know really neat little tidbits here and there and then i'm sure there'll be plenty of you know bug fixes and everything that come along with this update i'm just hopeful that everything goes smoothly because it is going to be a rather large update and when that happens sometimes there tends to be a pretty big bug so i'm just hopeful that 
nothing like that will occur. Hopefully all the testing has gone well, and I just hope the best for EW with the update coming out next week. So, with that said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the update down below in the comments. I'd love to hear. So, with that said, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Thank you.